Welcome back to Naptown Trading Cards. Today we have a head-to-head -head edition. We have two scorecard 40-card value packs and two of these 30-card Donruss Elite value packs. And I have not opened either one of these before, so this is going to be my first time opening both. And let's go ahead and start and see what, what we can get from each. So it looks like at least for the score... We should be looking for exclusive dots, gold, and red parallels. And let's see. Uh, looks like there are some numbered cards we can get. And on average, non-base cards, about nine in every pack. So that's what score is working with. And for Don Russ, look for exclusive pink parallels. And let's see what else we can get. So there are some numbered cards. Uh, Non-base cards are about three in every pack. So a third of the, yeah, a third as many as uh, a score. So let's go ahead, let's start with score, why not? And at the end of the video, I will put uh, kind of a price breakdown. So to see which one, you know, I know it's only two of each, but get a decent idea of what, uh, what you're working with and I got both of these from Walmart, so I'll have the price of each pack, and then whatever we get, however much those would go for. And kind of an overall grade as far as the quality of cards, and you know, if you actually get any good hits or anything. So, not expecting too, too much, since these, at least the score, was, I believe, $7.99 from Walmart, but... Let's go ahead and get started. So we got Josh Allen, Melvin Gordon, Deion Jones, Marquez Valdez Scanling, Wesley Walls, uh, Tim Patrick, Dante Culpepper, Mike Williams, Jamar Chase, JJ Watt, Dalvin Cook, George Kittle, Taylor Heineke. Big uh, Commanders fan behind the camera over here. <laughs> uh, Pat Fireman, Jim Kelly, let's see, Corey Davis, Brian Dawkins, Jeremiah, Devin Singletary, and it looks like we got some, some rookie cards now. Trayvon Walker, Reggie Robertson Jr., Channing Tindall, Caleb Elby. Jalen, Sad Haskins. Okay, looks like we got some of those red parallels now. Clean up some of these piles. So we got a Mike Evans. Not numbered, pretty nice looking card. Jimmy G. Nick Benito. And now oh, these are pretty cool. Got a Chiefs huddle up. Uh, Desmond Ryder, Jonathan Taylor Celebration, uh, Jameson Williams, so that's a pretty cool looking card, it's kind of a throwback, that's nice. Oh my gosh. Uh, Aaron Donald, let's see, Chris Olave Potential. Another Chris Olave. <laughs> Another one of the throwbacks. That's pretty cool. Uh, Baker Mayfield Celebration. Joey Bosa Sack. Oh, that's a cool looking card. Dolphins Huddle Up. Uh, Jahan Dotson. Potential. Nice one. Another one for the PC. And Jamar Chase Celebration. Okay, so first pack. Uh... I mean, uh, not great, but, you know, $7.99. Not really too much to expect. Uh, he's got one red parallel rookie card. Uh, Jimmy G, Mike Evans. No numbered cards. Like I said, a few for the, few for the PC. Uh, let's go ahead and get back to. Let's see if we can get any numbered cards this time. Oh, 
Okay, Cordell Patterson. Jordan Love. Michael Thomas. Darius Leonard. Devin White. AJ Brown. TJ Hawkinson. Carl Nassib. Patrick Queen. DeAndre Hopkins. James Lofton. Eric Dickerson. Got Lamar Jackson. Mike Gessick. Deion Sanders. Devin McCourty. Miles Sanders. Baker Mayfield. Jabril Davis. And now into the, to the rookie cards. Uh, Charlie Kolar. Isaiah Spiller. Tyquan Thornton. Ronnie Rivers, Sam Howell, that's a nice looking card. Uh, Perion Winfrey, and on to those red parallels, Marquez Valdez Scaling, and Jordan Poyer. Okay, so only two in this pack. Uh, Kyler Murray Celebrations, not numbered, but pretty good looking card. Zach Wilson Celebrations. First ballot, Steve Young. It's a cool looking card. Yeah, better there. Let's see, Brees Hall potential, potential. Jordan Poyer, Austin Eckler. Who we got here? Desmond Ryder, Jared Allen. Josh Jacobs, another Sam Howell, some really cool looking cards. Uh, let's see, Jalen Tolbert, Potential, and looks like we got two left, uh, Giants Huddle Up, and Pierre Strong Jr., Potential. Okay, so we'll go ahead and move these over to the side real quick. Let's fix up the table there. Okay. So nothing too crazy. I uh, gotta say, I, I feel like that, that met expectations <laughs> for a you know, $8 score. Uh, so we got five of the red parallels, one rookie card, not too bad. Um, so let's see if Don Russell Lee can, can keep up or, or pass that. So again, just real quick, looking for pink parallels. Right. 30 cards, let's see what we get. Oh, kind of got a stink peek. Looks like we got one. <laughs> let's see. Trevor Lawrence. I gotta say, I already like these a lot better. Michael Thomas. Kyler Murray. Stephon Diggs. Saquon Barkley. DJ Moore. Miles Sanders. Justin Fields. Nico Collins. Jamal Adams. CD Lamb. Jamar Chase. Aaron Rodgers. Oh, that's nice. It's a nice pink parallel Mac Jones. Not too bad, not too bad. Uh, rookie Logan Hall. That's a cool looking card. Okay. Looks like we got a Spellbound Justin Herbert. That's a nice looking card. Micah Parsons. Really unfortunate being a Commanders fan. Seeing how well he's playing, but it's good for him. Uh, Joe Mixon. Aaron Jones. Josh Allen. Javante Williams, Keenan Allen, Jalen Waddell, Clyde Edwards Alaire, Russell Wilson, Daniel Jones, T. Higgins, Dalvin Cook, Devontae Smith, and TJ Watt. A good old kid reporter. So Yeah. Not too bad, I'd say. <laughs> I mean, never really bad if you get a Mac Jones or Justin Herbert. So not too bad. No, no numbered cards, but 
overall. I mean, I think, I think overall I like, I like the Donruss style a little better so far. So, last pack. And go ahead and you know, comment down below so far which one you think is is winning and if you think this last one will will beat out the uh, the score. Okay, started off with Josh Allen, Jameis Winston. I'm gonna make two piles of this. Uh, DeAndre Hopkins, Tua. Najee Harris, Kadarius Tony, Justin Herbert, Devontae Adams, AJ Brown, Mike Evans, Matthew Stafford, Mac Jones, Miles Sanders, Justin Fields. And for the pink, looks like we got three. We got a Michael Carter. Not too bad. And the uh, rookie card, Tyquan Thornton. It's a pretty cool looking card. Oh, nice. Spellbound Trevor Lawrence. We'll take it. Jalen Waddell. Brandon Cooks. Christian McCaffrey. Jared Judy. Debo Samuel. Dak Prescott. Davis Mills. Cardale Patterson. Derek Carr. Cam Akers. Matt Judon. Lamar Jackson, and David Montgomery. Finish it off with the kick reporter. So, I guess some, some final thoughts. And then we'll finish up. I'll have the, the prices on, on the screen for you. But overall, I gotta say, even though, like I said, the Don Rose was about, just about $12 after tax. And it was about $8 after tax for these uh for the score you get a lot more variety with the score and i mean i wasn't really expecting to get any crazy hits with either one of these but going head to head i do like the nice variety i mean you got the potential you got these cool look at these that's just a cool looking card i just like the throwback style um uh, get a lot of these huddle ups a lot of these celebrations. I mean, it's more than just it's more than just these red and gold. I don't have any gold, but it's more than just those that you're getting on average, you know. Whereas with these guys, the Don Russ, I mean, it's it's not bad. These, these are really nice looking cards, but that's kind of all you get. Looks like one standard, a rookie, and then a spellbound. So, I mean, you know what you're getting. And I really don't think that we'll be able to get much for any of these. But, you know, that's not necessarily why we're doing it. It's fun to open these, fun to try try the new packs. But, like I said, i got to give it to Score this time. I, I think I think Score is going to be my number one overall. Um, just a better value. I mean, you get 10 more cards. You get way more variety with the type of cards you're going to get. And... Overall, I'd probably give it, I mean, for eight bucks, mm, probably seven out of 10. I mean, it's not, it's not the best thing in the world, but it is a pretty decent, pretty decent value. So seven out of 10 for them. Uh, if, if the Don Russ was, was cheaper, like maybe $9, I'd probably give it a seven as well, but I'm leaning more towards maybe a six, six and a half. Like these are these are nice own cards, don't get me wrong. I really like these. Definitely, definitely look better than the base score, but that's all you get. And you get so what was it? 30 per pack. So you're getting 27 of those base cards. I mean, 27 of the same thing. And then only only three of these per pack? I mean, I don't know. At least, again, I only have two, but I don't know. I, I can't give it more than the six and a half, but I'm definitely going to definitely gonna give it a score for this one. But not too bad with these uh, 
these cards for the PC, though. So, and all of them were from Score. So, I guess that's another, <laughs> another kind of plus. But, yeah, so go ahead and you know, drop a comment down below which one you think is better. All right, time to see how we did. So, for the Don Russ Elite, I double checked to see you know, what they were going for on eBay. And again, for the Don Russ, after tax, we spent about $24 for both packs. So, looks like for the Justin Herbert, get maybe $2 for it. The Trevor Lawrence, about a dollar. Uh, let's see. Uh, Taekwon Thornton, 50 cents to a dollar. Um, I didn't see any that were actually for sale or have sold. So, that's just kind of what the others were going for. Um, next, we got Logan Hall. And that one, again, 50 cents, about a dollar. Didn't see any for sale, at least for this one. The base cards were, but um, nothing for the pink parallel. Uh, Michael Carter, about a dollar. Um, did see a few of those for sale. So that, that that's a fairly accurate number. Uh, Mac Jones, none of these for sale. I did see a few, a few other variations, but the base is going for about a dollar, so... I'd say you'd probably get two for this one, uh, but not not a whole lot. So all in all, for the Don Russ, you're looking at about $8 that we could get from all these, uh, which isn't terrible, <laughs> I guess, but that would put us down $16. So, you know, spent 24 on both packs, could sell for about eight. So we're down, down 16 on that. Uh, now for score. This actually did a little bit better. Now, granted, we only spent $16 for both packs, with about $8 per pack after tax. Uh, so let's see. Let's get these in order real quick. Okay. So to start with the rookie card, Nick Benito. Didn't see any, but the base cards for him were going for about a dollar or so. So I put down $1.50, which, you know, you'd be lucky to get. Um... Jordan Poyer, same thing. Not much. 50 cents to a dollar. Tops. Uh, Marquez, same thing as Jordan Poyer. Not much. Probably 50 cents to a dollar. Tops. Uh, Jimmy G, <laughs> yet again. Same thing. 50 cents to a dollar. Tops. And Mike Evans, surprisingly, I saw a few of these for sale. Uh, Two dollars, actually, from what I saw. So... All in all, again, spent about $16. And if you sold all these, you'd make about $6.50, give or take. And so we're down $9.50. So not as bad as a Don Russ. Um, you know, you're not making as much, but you're also not losing as much. Um, again, if, if that's what you're into, or if that's what you're doing this for, then I would definitely stay away from the score on Don Russ Elite. But... Overall, you know, you make more with, for this example, you made more with the, uh, with the Don Russ, but, I mean, it's significantly less risky with the score, and you get a better variety, so, if you're just looking to maybe get some more cards for a PC, then, you know, I would definitely, definitely go with score. Don Russ is, is really lacking with the variety. Thank you all so much for watching. Comment down below which product you think won today's head-to-head -head battle. Don't forget to drop a like and subscribe so you don't miss out on any new content.